It's clean up the studio day here in my little art studio. Um, as you can see, I'm a little embarrassed at the condition of my small space here. Um, I I just need to clean the studio up. Uh, there's been a lot going on, um, a couple shows um, that I've needed to pull some artwork for and then doing some videos. I have some of the things I've made still out. Um, and yeah, it's time to clean the studio. So I thought it might be fun to share with you guys my uh, little cleanup video here to hopefully encourage you uh, to do the same. I love a messy studio. I think that's great because it means work is being done, but at the same time, um, having a clean, uh, clear space to come into um, can feel really good too. So it's definitely a balance. So I am getting right at it here. Um, my approach is going to be kind of doing section by section. Right now, um, I am unloading a bag that I had for a class I taught yesterday with a bunch of materials in it that I just need to get put away. And at the end of the video, I will kind of walk you through my space a little bit um, so you know what all the different uh, sections are. As I've mentioned, it's a small space. You can see that here. Um, so I have to be a little creative with um, my work and how I work. The A-frame of this studio is super cute and I love it, but at the same time, it does make it a little bit difficult to um, to maneuver just because that the roof is often just kind of nudging my head there. And I will say that I walked into the day, um, it's Friday today, so I walked into the day knowing that this is like top of the list, this is what I wanted to tackle. So I made it as fun um, as I could uh, by having a cup of coffee <laughs> and turning on some music to get me going. You might see me dancing a little bit in this video. Um, because I just had to get myself charged up and excited for this. It's not always the, the, the most fun to clean up your space, um, especially when there's just a lot of little papers and things like that. So um, I say that to encourage you to uh, do what you need to do to make cleaning up fun. And you know, it's, it's definitely worth it in the end. And I'm really trying to be super aware of where I'm putting stuff and not just like hiding things um, just to make it look clear. Um, I'm really putting things back in a way that is very intentional so I know where everything is. Um, finished artwork is always a challenge. Uh, you guys can probably relate to that. You make a lot of artwork, but it does take up space. I have some in a gallery here in Asheville, but at the same time, I still have extra. So I have a little bit of overflow going on um, and not much space to store it. So that is the best I can do. And then here we're looking at my mess of packaging, uh, leftover stuff from a show and signage, all of that kind of thing. So um, I allow myself a little section here just to be messy and um, not perfect because it's just, it's just tricky stuff to um, deal with. So cleaning up my scraps on the floor. And it's looking much better already. Probably took me about 45 minutes in all to, to uh, clean this. Okay, so here it is. Um, not perfectly clean, but uh, sorted enough for me to um, work. I have all of my paper and collage materials down here. That's my scrap paper bin. And then underneath it, I have um, even more. So anytime I'm collaging, I can pull from there. And this is a little workspace that I have. This is also where I create my happy day beads. I can paint right there. Big white thing on the ground is my temporary AC because the one in the wall is not working. Uh, there's my desk and then my um, printer section here. And then this desk is on wheels. This is where I'm currently um, filming a lot of my YouTube videos. Nothing too special there. Um, my packaging area, this is where I'll package up artwork or my beads. Kind of have a little station set up, which is nice. A lot of bins full of 
fun things. <laughs> And then um, some extra overflow zines and such. And then this is where all of my completed artwork is. At some point, I'm going to pull that easel out because I'll need it to create some new work. So I'll have to move that artwork around a little bit. And then my little area of miscellaneous stuff is right there. So in conclusion, make your studio messy, but clean it up every now and then because it feels so good. Have a good day, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon.